And then B, under new business, consideration action on solid waste franchise. Uh, Dr. Treadway. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, city's open bids on uh, our solid waste franchise contract. Uh, and this is up uh, for a five-year contract with potential for a five-year renewal. Uh, staff has reviewed the bids, done some cost modeling uh, on that. I also checked references, and we do recommend that the franchise be awarded to Waste Pro. Mr. Treadway, thank you. Is there any, any questions of Mr. Kent? Uh, Dr. Treadway? Question? Yes, Ms. Cowles. Mr. Treadway, I asked if this is a work session, but if we could just put it out here uh, for the public meeting. Uh, you did a cost analysis of the different bidders. Uh, and was Waste Pro uh, the lowest bid? Yes, they were. We looked at the uh, bids uh, really in, in three different ways uh, in each one of those analyses that we did waste pro came out as a low bidder each time and as part of the bid process uh, staff reviewed recommendations for each of the bidders were there any negative uh, recommendations for waste pro or any concerns for the city uh, gay and her staff did a number of made a number of contacts uh, we did report those findings we had a mixture quite frankly of uh, reviews for all of them, but nothing that we found, uh, nothing that we heard from any of the replies would cause us to uh, question really any of the vendors. Uh, by and large, all the recommendations came back very positive. Any other questions of Dr. Treadway? Okay, seeing none, now I'll, I'll, rec uh, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Mayor, at this time I'd like to make a motion that we accept the bid of the public services, our current service provider. There's a motion. Is there a second of that motion? I'll second for discussion purposes only, Mr. Mayor. Well, I don't want to, but usually we're not allowed to do that. I mean, okay. I mean, usually if it's not a good process. I learned that when I went to Savannah last summer, so I mean. No problem. I'll let you the second. Okay. Seeing no second, that motion dies. The floor is now open. Anybody else who wishes to make a motion? <coughs> this counts. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the bid uh, of Waste Pro with the city attorney could help me qualify in language of uh, the new house bill. It was. It, I think what you were <coughs> suggesting is that we qualify so that they accept the the new legislation that is. I think position for governor's signature as a requirement of that contract. Exactly what he said. All right, well, we just have to figure that out with the staff, but uh, he knows what he's talking about. Mr. <coughs> Treadway, I think you're familiar with that. Yes. All right, there's a motion by Ms. Counts. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second that, Mr. Uh, second by Mr. Spong. Ms. Counts? Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the bid this has been something that we've thought of, that we've been discussing for a, a few council meetings. To me, the bottom line comes down to economics and customer service. Uh, unfortunately, the bid, if you look at the bids, our current provider uh, is higher than our current price. Um, with the cost analysis that staff has provided us, Waste Pro uh, offers our citizens the best service for the least amount of money. So that's why I'm asking uh, that my colleagues on council accept that bid offer tonight. Mr. Sabat? You know, uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, sit, sitting in this position here trying to make a, a decision uh, that would satisfy the citizens that are going to benefit from the service has been, uh, it's been very difficult. And as usual, we have to look at uh, the bottom line of both the services that uh, we, uh, uh, we uh, have asked for based on the based on the RFP, and the bottom line, I am, uh, I am hopeful um, that, uh, that the services that we are going to get from, if, if the Waste Pro is voted in and the contract is awarded, I am hopeful that Waste Pro will um, provide an utmost service to the city of Snellville and provide the necessary um, um, response and feedback when required. There are, uh, based on the charts that I have and the analysis that we have from the uh, city manager, 
they are the lowest bidder. And as far as the service, as far as the bid is concerned, it is very comparable, and they met the RFP that was requested from them. And therefore, I will support voting for Wastebro tonight. Uh, and again, like I said earlier, this is a very hard decision to do, to make, and uh, to, uh, and I will support Wastebro as a uh, waste management company. Yeah. Good council members, Mr. Warner. Yes. Um, this is very hard to see, and it's been extremely hard to get the information and digest it. It is, it is a very complex model that the staff has put together in order to um, come up with a figure as to what the true cost is of providing service by all the service providers. Um, one of the first things that I look at when we're looking to put a contract out is safety, and then service, and then cost. And Waste Pro, by the model that I don't quite agree with, um, is the lowest cost. Uh, when you take all the city figures out of it, and that is um, on commercial garbage service, we mark that service up by 20% across the board, and that those revenues are used to offset the cost of providing service to our residential customers, plus to cover the cost of billing and, and some other miscellaneous items. Um, if you back out the costs that the city charges, because we as council members are the ones who impose that, and we impose that 20% across the board fee back based on a previous market and a previous contract. In using those figures, in looking at the current bids before us, it kind of skews the results of that. When you back those figures out, you're looking at a difference in cost between the high bidder or the, the bidder that I had put forth um, and the low bidder of approximately $2,500 a month. Um, to me, knowing that we have a good quality service provider that has a proven record of safety and a proven record of commitment to this community is worth $2,500 a month. Um, the other factors that come into play uh, we'll leave for discussion another time, but the reasons that I do not support going with Waste Pro um, are basically the financial difference, the savings to the city, is not great enough to take a chance on a provider who, whose recommendations came from the city of Arcade that has 400 residents, the city of Jefferson, which is the county seat of Jackson County. Um, but they're not, I, I don't think they're true comparisons to the city of Snell. And we have a very high standard we expect a transition um, between service providers to go seamlessly, and I'm not sure that uh, going with Waste Pro will give us that that service that we demand. Thank you. Any other council members, Mr. Woods? There's one more little caveat here: is that the state legislature this past year um, has passed new law, which has not been signed by the governor yet, which is expected to be signed, which will allow yard trash to be picked up curbside. Right now, that can be done in the city, but you have to pay $2.50 or, or somewhere in that vicinity for a bag to put that in. It's picked up by a separate vehicle, and a lot of people don't want to spend the $2.50 to pay for that, especially, you know, you get quite expensive if you have any size yard. This new law, when it's passed, will allow the same truck that picks up our solid waste to pick up the yard track and dispose of it. It's supposed to be green. It's going to be, uh, going to create gases from all this, and, the, and what happens is the, the, uh, the, the yard trash actually helps uh, ferment the other trash and creates the gas in a more economical and more cost-effective manner. 
my concern is that we signed a contract tonight for five years. Um, I, I don't know that, that this company can provide us that service. I don't know if they can't. But if we sign a contract for five years stating that our citizens are still paying $2.50 for a yard bag to have their waste picked mm -hmm. up, this new law, when it comes into effect, will be null and void. It will not be effective to the city. I was told at the work session, while well, the city has that option of whether we want to do that. Well, quite honestly, as a city councilman, I can't imagine why I would vote against giving our citizens the advantage of having their yard waste picked up at the curb for no charge if I can do that. So I'm not supporting this tonight because I don't have enough information. Um, I want to know that the company that gets our contract can and will provide that service to the city at no additional cost to our citizens. Thank you. Any else? I will, oh, Ms. Bennett, you can. I'll speak in favor of the motion by Ms. Couch. I made it very clear in the, in the work session, we had a bid process that was put together by our staff, it was reviewed by the city attorney, it was put out there. And the bottom line is any way you look at it, Waste Pro will save the citizens and taxpayers of the city money. Um, looking at other options that weren't the bid, I do not feel comfortable in that. I think we've done our due diligence of that, and I'm supporting Waste Pro, and that's all I'm going to say. If anything I said can will be using me in court of law. So, spend it. 